Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this. Agent Force 2.0 launched just a few months after Dreamforce 24. And guess what? Two out of three launch demos showcased Slack. I am so excited about what is coming in 2025 for Agent Force and Slack. So I decided to explore what's even possible today to get a head start. But first, let's rewind to Agent Force 1.0 for a moment. Have you completed the Trailhead project where we build a digital experience site for Coral Cloud Resort? Well, in this video, we're going to take a bit further by adding Slack integration to that site. We will begin at the digital experience site we finished in the Trailhead project. From there, we will open the agent and start chatting with it. Let us ask, does the resort offer a soccer experience? Click send. After a few seconds, it asks for our email address and membership number. Let us enter that information. Then we hit send. In just a few seconds, we will get a new response from the agent. It says, it looks like we don't currently offer soccer experience at the resort. If you would like, you can suggest a description for the soccer experience and we can try to arrange it for you. Would you like to do that? Let us see what happens if we just simply say yes. Next, as expected, it asks for a detailed description. We will type a longer answer this time, something like, guests could immerse themselves in the joy of soccer, blah, blah, blah. In a few seconds, the agent responds again. And here's the response. Your request for a soccer experience have been submitted successfully. We'll do our best to arrange it. If you have any other questions, blah, blah, blah. Now, let us take a closer look at what just happened. In Salesforce, there's an object called the experience request. And guess what? A new record was just created. Check this out. The approval state is pending. It is submitted by Sofia Rodriguez. It's the soccer experience. Here's the description. Finally, the record name is 009. But wait, here is where it gets exciting. The request was automatically posted in Slack, making it super easy for the Coral Cloud Resort Management team to review it and discuss whether to offer this experience. Now, in Slack, we can see the request for the new experience. The record name is 009. It is submitted by Sofia Rodriguez. It's the soccer experience. And there's the experience description. Let us do a comment to the Coral Cloud Resort Management team in the thread for this particular request. Here's what we will say. What do you think about this idea? Get to enjoy a friendly matches and participate in the tournament experience. Blah, blah, blah. And of course, we will throw in some emojis. Well, after all, it's a Slack. Then we hit send to post it. But that's not all. The Coral Cloud Resort Management Team can approve the request directly in Slack. Let us click the approve button. Well, a model pops up showing a Salesforce screen flow that says, you are about to approve the record. Yes, this is a Salesforce screen flow. Now we can see it's for the soccer experience. It also includes the description. We click the next button. And just like that, the record is approved in Salesforce. Then we can click finish to close the pop-up. Let's go back to Salesforce. 
a quick refresh shows the record is officially approved. It's a super cool and simple demo. It has built with clicks, no code, so no developer needed. If you like this and you would like to build yourself, I have written a new article on Medium called Agent Force, Humans with Agents Drive Customer Success Together, where I dive into all the details of how you can build the solution we just explored. Now let us take a quick look at what's inside the article. First we start with a video. The video has highlights from the Agent Force 2.0 launch session followed by a quick discussion about the Trailhead batch and state the proposed solution and how it was implemented. It's basically an introduction to this blog. Next is a table of contents to help you navigate the article, which ended up being a little bit long, so these links makes it easier to navigate. The article then discusses Agent Force and the Trailhead project I used to build the solution we just saw. The great news presented at the Agent Force 2.0 launch and how Salesforce will integrate really nicely with the Slack follows up. Now, since many of the features showcased at the launch are not available yet, they will be available soon though, it's important to mention the forward-looking statements. The article then covered the scenario we saw in the video, requesting a new soccer experience. Next, we dive into the fun part. A step-by-step -step guide on to how I build this solution and how you can do it too. If you would like, you can even install the metadata for this project in Salesforce org directly from a GitHub repo I created for you. But I highly recommend you follow the steps to understand the metadata in the project. Once you finish the batch, the first step is to create a custom object called Experience Request. This is where the agent will store the records which need to be approved. Next, you configure the agent to handle the experience requests. Start by creating the agent flow that creates the experience request records. Then, create the agent action to trigger the flow. After that, update the agent to include the new agent action. Now, create a new instruction for the agent. Don't forget, the key to a successful agent is writing clear and precise instructions. Finally, it's time to test the agent. Spoiler alert! It is going to fail. But no worries, the article walks you through how to troubleshoot and fix these particular issues. Up to this point, we focus on agent force. Now it's time to integrate it with Slack and dive into the fun stuff. First, you must accept the terms and conditions in Salesforce to enable the Salesforce for Slack app. Next, configure some permissions in Salesforce to allow it to connect with Slack. Then, head over to Slack and install the Salesforce for Slack app. Complete the OAuth flow to link the two platforms together, Salesforce and Slack. Create a new Slack channel where Coral Cloud Resort Management will receive the request for new experiences. Now back in Salesforce, create a new screen flow to test the integration. Now we can build the two flows needed to approve the new experience requests. But before, let's create a custom metadata type in Salesforce. This will prevent hard coding values and let you easily post to different Slack channels in Sandbox and production, for example. Next, build the two flows. 
one record trigger flow to post to Slack, and one screen flow for approving the request directly from Slack. Finally, it's time to test the entire solution. At the end of the article, you'll find a list of utterances you can use to test the agent. I hope you enjoyed the article I wrote for you. And do not forget, start getting ready for all the exciting features coming in Agent Force 2.0 with Slack and Salesforce integrations.